today's video is going to be my view on Busted 20th Anniversary and Greatest Hits Tour at the Oval Hedro in Glasgow on the 20th of September 2023. So, what I thought on the sport ads and the set list that they formed at the gig or show, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, so, of course, my view being at Busted's 20th Anniversary and Greatest Hits Tour at the Oval Hedro in Glasgow on the 20th. September 3, which of course did set up, in case you wrong. Uh, but before like, me going into this bit of me seeing them live, um, so Busted had them doing a lot of like, mm, album signings at the venues. Um, they did one at HMV in Newcastle, but most of them they're doing like, um, signings at the venues for the album that came out, which are two, like, Kind of things are 2.0 because one's just for Busted and one has got the features like other artists and bands that Busted like I've worked with, even though like, artists and bands have like loved like listening to them or have wanted to like work with them. And you're probably wondering why I've got this one as well because maybe you might have seen it in another video that I can filmed. Uh, I will explain soon in the video as well. Um, <coughs> so I went to the album signing, of course, it was in the overhead as well, because it's in Glasgow venue. Um, so, all I'm just say 1 o'clock, but I don't know, it depends because it did take a bit to get in because I didn't, I was meet, there with my friend, um, I didn't get to a clock, but because I think a lot of people turn up because it said it's free, and, but even though you don't need a ticket, yeah, if you're going to the gig, you don't have to buy the album. Um, but I, I wanted to get a bit ill because I didn't think a lot of people were going to turn out. I just think maybe because of the weather or because it was like a working normal day because it was Wednesday, of course, um, on the day of the thing. Um, but I got a bit late and I was hoping to go. And when I turned up, it was massive. It was busy. Even though... It wasn't that long to wait, um, but the weather was nightmare because one minute it was like raining, next it was sunny, and then it was like strong blurry of wind, which I thought it was never going to be there before it was going to blow away from the venue. <laughs> a one minute because the wind was so strong. Um, but I noticed like some people, I don't know if maybe because um, the people got selfies with them. But I don't know because the time on it or because there's so many um, other people still see busted. I don't think a lot of us couldn't get um, selfies because when I went in, I was wanting to get a selfie with him because I have met Matt before twice, um, but I've never met uh, James as well. But I'm happy I still got to meet him and I got photos like just being at the signing and got the album signing. So anyone who else is going to the Album signings that busted you in, the ones at the venue, you're only allowed two items to sign. So it could be like this one and the other version of the album, or it could be merch, or it could be. You know what I mean? I know they only allowed two items to sign. So I did have this and I did have another one because my other friend couldn't make it because she was at work. So, kind of any point, <laughs> I got a one. But they're a five each, not even bad. How much are you get an album? It's five pound. But if you get this one, the other one, the one with clubs on it, with two point oh, ten a bargain. It's usually an album like that's usually more pricey, so bargain. I mean, but I need to do a few videos of this and the club one, with two point oh, because I'm a bit behind my bus the blues. I've got three more before doing that, so we'll get there. We will get there. Not in. But it was good. But it was good, and I mean, getting to meet them. Like, all three of them in the room. It was my goal getting to meet them, so I'm happy. But, do you know what? There's going to be opportunities, like, because they are going to be bringing out more music, and they should do more signs then. I mean, I'll tune but I'm in the room with them. 
I'm happy. Um, so if you want to see the photos I did take from it, um, they're on my Instagram, so I'll put a link down below if you want to check it. And then, just went back in town a bit, just, just got a bit of lunch and just have meals and shops, and then I met my friend Karen, got some dinner, and then we headed to the venue. Um, because our, usually the hydro is usually a seating venue, um, most of the bit at the front was standing, so it's kind of weird to have my seat in the venue. Usually it's standing away if it's like small intimate kind of gigs. Um, so it's standing, and if you're wondering why this wristband, I didn't think we were going to get this because usually they do the search at the doors, like bag search, and then there's like Mexico, like holiday, like like the metal tape this kind of thing, or usual patty. Um, and then after they've got a ticket scanned, scan, sorry, they get the list to say, we're standing. So most of the venues are standing apart from um, wee bit um, has seats and then up the floor has seats. So it's kind of weird not being a seat in the hydro, but it's kind of, I really enjoyed it standing because you could just stand in any the venue even though you didn't body boot where your seat was or what number you had to check because I find that annoying. I always get like nervous or stressed and trying to find the seat with the number. Usually the like, staff help you but I just feel a bit more calm and just like standing there. But we had a good view and then just waiting for a bit, just chilling, just having a nice chat, um, just take photos yourself like we always do, just create a little memory being at the venue. And then of course the sport yeah, came on. So I'm Try my best to say this band name because every time I try to say it, I always murder. It's time. So there are like new upcoming bands. It's like pop, pop, no, rock, any kind of style. They're not. I think maybe like younger people, but not my kind of thing. Sorry, I'm not. They were good lives, let me be honest, but they're just not my cup of tea. I mean, I kind of get because it's kind of like if you like Busty McFly or. Um, do you think who else? Like Green Day and um, Panic Disco. Can I add them? And of course, you'd like them, but it's just I'm not on my cup of tea. But they were okay to like, watch and just before they arrest, but come on. <clears throat> so they did do like one cover, um, I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> and then they did mostly like the runners and stuff, but. They're okay, I mean, I think that they were good like keeping the crowd going, but just, just don't offend me, you know I mean, they're just not making the scene, because I'm a bit older now, but maybe like younger generation, they probably them, but just not like a And then the second sport I came on before busted was Hanson. Which of course they're like going to try to plan come up the knees, it doesn't, uh oh, 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 oh. But they were amazing life, and the first time, amazing life. Hmm. Sorry, we enjoyed the set. Um, so we didn't see them, like one of our bands, like Grump Nighties. And just waited a bit, and of course it was time for work. Good. Boop, boop, boop. They came on at 9 o'clock. Um, but I don't know if maybe he's been in the tour so far or um, trying not to look at the spoilers or like the set list um, or seeing that videos like on social media. I don't know how this came about or came about like from intro and end of it. They've got actor Christopher Lloyd. Who plays Dr. Emmerich Brown in Mitch the Future films? Because it's kind of a cool thing, but how the heck did that happen? But I mean, because when I, I was trying not to look at the spoilers, but like after like, the opening night, the first date of the tour, and there's like a key that I was picked up, but it was kind of a cool thing. Um, so. 
set list. We are cool and we enjoyed the set list, amazing set list. So I'll just go right to the first song is Air Horses, Air Horses, sorry. Amazing song, I love it, one of my faves, and great start to the concert. Then we had Meet You There, Who's a Kid, You Said No, one of my faves. So good to hear in that live, um, try to think to do it before. Yeah. It's just because it's been a while since I've seen Busted Live. I mean, meet me. Then we had Everything I Knew. I think, I don't know, is that an album track? Or. Because I got a number here in that song. Probably is an album track, but I just got a number Um, So they did two songs with Hanson. So they did Mup, because I think a lot of people think we're Hex and Sport it. But we didn't play it. And you know, because Busted do this with Hanson in the 2.0 album, and kind of cool that it got spoke that and that they were forming it together. And then Sleep with the Light on, and it's got Hanson, but so Hanson's performed two songs, so Hanson's song with Hanson, and then Hanson does the Busted song, Busted. Kind of cool thing. And then we had Good One, so this is the new song that they've released, it's a new original song, and it's kind of good day to hear it live now because um, hearing it like on Spotify or the radio or I've been watching like a lot of videos on TikTok and YouTube and Confession Twitch. So the next song was What I Go Off School For, of course, the main song that got me love and busted and the start to the career and it's kind of refreshing because most songs that and the format, it's like the 2.0 like new versions of like the album of course, so it's kind of new and fresh and hearing like an old version of the song that I will listen to and making it like the new version, like the 2.0 in the album of course. Then we've got Who's David and then we've got Fallen Few, but they're not like like the serious things like the stage like here, like it's a bit like they were gotten so I couldn't like film that was one of the songs that I wanted to film the whole song of it, but because of where I was standing, like, say for instance, like, I'm standing there, but busties are, like, to the side of it, so I could hold it at a bit of an angle, so I had a bit of TikTok. Um, do you know what? That's one of my favourite songs because it's on um, the film A Cinderella Story. I love it. It makes me so happy every time I hear it. And when I heard it was on the soundtrack, um, on the soundtrack of that film, and on the checklist, see it and the set list and tour, I'm so happy to hear it. So the next one is Fun the Words Ago. I love the song. That makes me feel happy to them hear it and I get fed up with talking it. And that's so good to hear it live again. Then we had She Wants to Be Me, amazing epic song. And then we had Freem. There was a lot of things that happened, so like halfway through the song, um, Freem. Um, Charlie noticed that a fan had fainted, so I had to stop. And I think Busted did amazing that they stopped. Like, um, there's a video on TikTok, and you see like Charlie and Matt take off the tires and look like they're gonna jump to help the fan because they fainted, and they get scooty, and then the fan manages to get up and they're just like, yay, and then. I think that's amazing that they can take their time, even though I'm fainted. Because I don't know what's happened because it was near when I was standing, it was like a bit more like. Is it still called OMG Son or is it called something else? I don't know. Like, more like. Like a little bit. with more fans, but it's like more smaller. Um, stopped, not mean so halfway through the song. Um, but I'm happy that the fan got back up and their feet. And just because you couldn't see where it was, that means I'm just going to hear what's happened or something serious, but because of the fan fainted, and Busted took the time care and make sure the fan was okay, and we started the song. So we did get a full version of that, but I'm happy the fan's okay, and I mean, even though the venue's like so warm, and I mean, then we had Crash the Wedding. 
and then we had teenage kicks. So I think they did, yeah, they performed this on. Oh, I've got the DVD on the top of my head. Yeah, and I brought it. I took it for everyone, I couldn't miss the title of it. So that's when they performed it. So it's kind of good to hear it again, even though it has been a while since I've heard it live. And it's still so incredible, always. And then just before the last song came on, we had another like video of Christopher Lloyd like with the kind of like back to the future kind of um I mean them putting like it back to year for frozen because that's the last song and I think it was a great ending to the set last and Buzz like told us like get down to so jump and then we jumped up and the confetti came up so it's like pink confetti confetti kind of thing I got from a sort of like little memory to the middle tour, but it was credible set list, I had a credible time, I just didn't want to go home, I wanted more, like, oh, ma, ma. but of course I had to finish it at 10. Um, I had an amazing night with my friend Khan, and got in my childhood, seeing Buss again, um, even though I've seen Buss when I was around like 13, 14 year old, and then seeing Buss when it was Mike Busty. And then getting to see Buss again, of course, James Jelly. Right. But I had a good old day, even though being at the album signing, and then later on in the day, um, seeing him live, so it was kind of like two things in one day. But when I got home, I was actually shattered. <laughs> so dead. Like, more all getting. It's like a muffet. It's like, it's having like an amazing time. I have a great night out. Being at a gig like this band or to listen to, but when I get home I'm like shattered and so I'm like of course that's like elements of having a good time out. But of course I did film some of the songs which could be on YouTube channel and um, so I put them linked down below when they are up and um, my busties views um I put busties like social media so like news updates Listening to music, singles, EPs, albums, store dates, events, singings, um, interviews, TV performances, um, if they're appearing on their programs, and um, whatever the bus does or announce, you can just check from social media. Um, but if you have seen Busted Live or you're going to this UK dates for the 20th anniversary and Greatest Hits Tour, you're in for a credible show. The set list is incredible. I'm so proud of Matt Chow James to celebrate the 20th, 20th anniversary, which I can't believe it's 20, the 20th anniversary. I feel old. <laughs> um, but I'm so proud of Busted, like so much TV videos, and of course, after the tour, they've got big plans coming. Because I did see a couple of videos, they said they've got plans coming, so we'll look forward to that. And I'm hoping, I would probably will happen, but we'll get more music, new music course. And before ending this video, I'm hoping everyone is buying Bussy's Great Sits album 2.0. Please, everyone keep buying it. Well, buying it like the albums or iTunes, please, because Bussy do want this album to be. Because one of the goals, like Techno, would be to have another one, another one album. Because I've never had another one album. So I'm trying the hardest and to get everyone to buy and streaming the album. So of course you can buy them on iTunes, you can buy it um, in your local music stores, you can buy it online, um, you can buy it on iTunes. I've always said that, but you know. But you can get this one, which has just got busted on it, and the other one's got the collaborations like our singers and bands who have loved to listen to Busted and up this, or just like a few if you've like, you've got Bamps, you've got James Arthur, you've got The Fly, you've got Letus, you've got You Mean Six, you've got Bob for Soup, you've got Hanson, Jonas Brothers, um, Octane Low, 
some plan neck deep in this like other hours and bands the song that one as well if you want to listen to this kind of cool like here and like this one just be busted but oh my god the both was like more mature more credible um but those two songs like here and live like you said no and free aim even though of course like charles and fight start and he did look like how you put it like the kaya boys but it's like screaming that blew me off like it's like well <laughs> but please everyone if it's already um i know this video will probably be uploaded at the time um they find out if i did do that number one which hopefully like fingers crossed please because it'll just be amazing to have one album and i'll just be happy and so proud of getting the cheese in the world because every album that i've had so far and uh, it's been amazing but they've never had them one so please be one because they're in a trap battle with um i love you cool which i love that album guys but please let us have it but you probably will think you will find out um if they do have a rum but watch i put little description so you can find out if they get no more track new key chart so not long to go with finding out if they do achieve it so i'm going to stop rambling on and um, but i had an incredible night amazing set list thank you busted for an amazing show to celebrate the 20th anniversary and great hits tour at the oval hydro in glasgow on the 20th of september 23 they've still got a couple more um, come on, not loads more like tour dates, like, but it's no point me saying going by because I think most of them, or a lot of the tour dates are bubbles sold out because when it first came out, the tour dates got sold out quick and then they had the extra and it got sold out. So I don't think there's a lot of places less that could take this, I don't know, but just check from both <laughs> butty social medias. And um, now it's certain places need some tickets left, but just depend. Um, but I had a crazy night, I didn't go home, I wanted more songs, like, whoa, play more, but. Um, yeah, I come back to Glasgow in the first October, but I just can't afford it. But to dinner tour, I'll be going because they're amazing life. So, hope you this video, do give a thumbs up if you are. Thank you for watching if you're new here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos channel. If you do, then press the button. It's free down below. If you've been here for on this video and you just put it and you still don't subscribe, it's free down below. Subscribe channel. If you enjoyed this video and this video on my channel, if you've done anything to subscribe, then you can watch and comment and give me support to my videos channel. Press the bell, uh, ding, 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 because I give you more notifications when I open videos. It's coming very soon. Keeps up very busy. So thank you and see you soon. Thank you and... Bye!